And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to help you to get to know our new president for 2011. I started skating when I was three years old and my parents used to build a rink out in our backyard. Uh, so I definitely had an early start. And then very quickly um, I got into lessons and I got the bug. Figure skating has contributed to my success as a realtor because it's instilled several qualities in me such as focus, dedication and desire, a passion for what you do. I've taken those lessons that I've learned and it's not until now in my professional life that I've realized how valuable those lessons have become. I think that when you are focused and you care about people and you um, want to do your personal best, um, that's the sort of thing that uh, makes a successful realtor and a successful uh, volunteer. I think that there are a lot of similarities between a competitive figure skater and a quality leader. Focus, dedication, and a passion for what you do. Listening intently, and not just the technical stuff, but the life lessons that you're trying to teach and that you're trying to learn. These are all things that I think were instilled in me very early on, and that have really helped me become passionate about being a real estate agent and also being a leader. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President of the Ontario Real Estate Association for 2011, Barb Succo. Good evening, everyone, and thank you. So for those of you who attended last year's ball, you may recall that President Dorothy remarked on how she would have big shoes to fill following Pauline, but that she would be OK because she had her red Dorothy shoes on. She had them on today, too. And there's no doubt about it, she did do an amazing job. And I, too, have big shoes to fill. But fortunately for me, look what I've got. So what I'd like to say to my newly elected president-elect, you better start practicing now. The theme for the ball tonight is 70s disco, and you may be wondering why. Well, three reasons, really. Number one is my board of directors would have killed me if I'd made them skate out onto the stage. Number two is anyone who knows me knows I love 70s music. And number three is that I was born in the 70s. Now you're all doing quick math in your heads. <laughs> and because of that fact, it has come to my attention that while while I am not the youngest president of ARIA, that honor still belongs to Mr. Peter Mason. He must have been a fetus when he was elected president. <laughs> I am, however, the youngest female president in the history of ARIA, so for me that's very exciting. <laughs> and I am humbled and honored to be your president for 2011. I believe it is very important to have diversity on your board. Associations that successfully engage multi-generation volunteers and members will be the associations that succeed in the long term. It is time to look towards the future to envision where we are going and what we want to become. We need to engage young leaders and speak to all members about the importance of volunteering and the critical role that we all need to play in shaping our prof profession instead of letting it shape us. If not now, when are we going to reach out to the members using amazing tools like social media that provide for two-way communication? 
If not now, when are we going to let them know that at ARIA we care about what they think and that we are all about what they need? So far, I have been three things in life, a student, a figure skater, and a realtor. I got my real estate license straight after university, and it has been my career ever since. I have been a realtor and a volunteer for 16 years. And to many of you, that may not seem like a very long time. And you're right. But it is the beginning of a lifelong career in real estate. People always ask me, why did you want to become president of ARIA? And what I say to them is because I love what I do, I care about this profession, and I plan on being a realtor for the rest of my life. The decisions that we make today are going to affect not only myself, but all realtors 20, 30 years from now. And I am excited to have that role to play as our profession evolves into something that may look remarkably different in the future. In the video tonight, I spoke about the qualities of a great leader and realtor. And I think it is interesting how we all gain these qualities in different ways. Figure skating takes an incredible amount of practice, focus, and you must have goals. And likewise, leadership is all about preparation, learning your craft, and having a vision for the future. But being a realtor to me is about professionalism. For those of you who know me, I'm a bit of a duty head. I like structure, organization, and formality. I expect courtesy and a high level of professionalism when I'm doing my business and engaging with other realtors. It is important, <laughs> thank you. It is important to me that this above all is not lost as the real estate business evolves and changes because it is one of the most vital and critical traits that we must maintain because it sets us apart. Conducting ourselves with a high level of professionalism will only make us stronger. It allows us to be confident and when necessary, able to articulate and know our own worth. Speaking of being worthy, I am so fortunate to have such a wonderful board of directors. They are truly professional, dedicated, and caring individuals. You are the association's greatest asset, and I know you have within you the unlimited, creative, human potential to find better ways. I look forward to working with all of you. I expect you to work hard, but we will also have a lot of fun. I've said many times that the best part of doing this job is the people that you meet and the friendships that you make. Please know that I am here to listen to your concerns and suggestions and that I am always available to you and the membership. I look forward to a year of many accomplishments and I wish you much success in all that you do. Be brilliant and make it count.